It's a busy week, you're short on sleep, and you don't have time to prepare a meal. You tell yourself, I'll figure out what to eat later, but then later comes and you are starving and still have nothing on hand and no time to cook. Your blood sugar spikes, your tummy growls, and before you know it, you've fallen face first into a bag of chips from the gas station or cookies from the vending machine or a candy bar from the grocery store checkout. We've all been there. And while relying too heavily on snack foods can kind of be its own issue, having some thyroid-friendly snacks on hand can really go a long way to keeping you on track. So today I've got over 20 thyroid-friendly snacks to share with you from quick and easy homemade snacks to make ahead snacks and grab and go package snacks. This episode could save you from gas station junk food next time you're on the road or even just help you steer clear of the cookie jar. I've got a ton of thyroid healthy and super yummy ideas for you today. So stick around. Hello, thyroid drivers. Welcome back to another episode of Thyroid Healthy Bites, a weekly podcast dedicated to helping you live well and eat well so you can feel well. I'm Ginny Mahar, your host and the face behind the apron at hypothyroidchef.com. As thyroid thrivers, almost all of us are on some kind of restricted diet and trying to cut out inflammatory foods like gluten, dairy, refined sugar, refined oils. These dietary changes can go a really long way in helping us feel better, reducing our symptoms, even keeping our antibodies down. But succeeding in making these life changes, it takes some planning, takes a little willpower, it takes some forethought. When you're changing the way you eat, having a few quick fuel options is a good strategy for staying on track and one of the best ways to set ourselves up for success. So in today's show, I've got a list of more than 20 whole food, nutrient-dense snack ideas for you. Our nutritional needs are unique. There is no one single thyroid healthy diet. So choose the options that adhere to your current dietary guidelines and goals. All of these options that I'm going to share exclude wheat, dairy, gluten, grains, refined sugar, and soy. So choose what works best for you. Read the labels carefully and choose organic whenever possible. Before we go snacking, I've got a quick quiz for you. Grab and go snacks and quick calories are a necessity in our busy lives. There's all kinds of good reasons to snack, but there are also bad reasons to snack and bad snack habits are easy to succumb to. They can really derail us from our health goals. So I'm gonna give you this quick quiz. And if you answer yes to any of these questions, consider it a red flag that you may need to press pause and reevaluate your snack choices and habits. Are you regularly using snacking as a replacement for well-balanced meals? Are you snacking because you're bored or stressed? Do you snack mindlessly for comfort, say when you're watching television at night and you're bombarded by ads for fast food and sugary treats? Are you snacking when you're not truly hungry? Are you regularly eating packaged snacks to avoid preparing real whole food? Are you leaning too heavily on snacks because you're not prioritizing and making time for cooking? Mindful eating and self-awareness are really critical to your success. So before you dive in and start munching, give a little thought to those questions. Just make sure you're using snacks in a way that supports your health. All right, let's dive in to my thyroid healthy snack list. The first list we're going to cover is on the fly snacks. First, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are really high in zinc. That's a nutrient that's commonly low for thyroid patients. They'll also give you a thyroid protecting dose of omega-3s. You can eat them raw or roasted and sprinkled with Himalayan pink salt. Organic tree nuts. A handful of almonds, Brazil nuts, macadamias, pistachios, walnuts, or pecans can be just enough to keep the hangries at bay while delivering thyroid healthy fats and high nutrition. Be aware that nuts labeled roasted are often fried in refined oils, so pay attention to those labels and choose raw or oven roasted nuts whenever possible. Cherries and berries. When in season, a small bowl full of fresh cherries or berries delivers high antioxidant, nutrition, fiber, and anti-inflammatory goodness. You can balance the small amount of natural sugars with a handful of nuts or seeds for added protein. 
Next, one minute guacamole. Dice an avocado, spritz it with lime or lemon juice, sprinkle with sea salt, done. Mash it with a fork, taste and adjust flavor, add more lime if you want, more salt, and that's it. It's high in fiber, it's healthy fat. Avocados are full of nutrients that thyroid patients need. You can serve this with carrot sticks, plantain chips, or a grain-free cracker. I've got some of those coming for you soon. All right, apple slices with nut butter. Apples are really a health-promoting food with plenty of fiber and blood-cleansing pectin. You can balance the natural sugars with some protein from your favorite organic nut or sunflower butter. Chopped veggies and pesto mayo. Getting in the habit of keeping some fresh veggie sticks handy is one of the best things you can do to improve your daily nutrition. Simply mix a spoonful of clean mayo with a spoonful of dairy-free pesto, and you'll find that it's a really yummy welcome replacement for that bottled ranch dressing, which is often labeled with unhealthy oils, preservatives, and just a long list of ingredients we can't pronounce. Seaweed snack sheets. This is one of the few packaged foods that made the cut thanks to a clean ingredient list and a healthy dose of thyroid supporting minerals like iodine. They're also low calorie and the full size sheets can be wrapped around veggies or salmon salad to make a super quick thyroid loving lunch. Just be sure to read the labels to avoid refined oils. Also one quick note about seaweed, the thyroid needs enough iodine to function optimally, but not too much. So it's important to be mindful of how much dietary iodine you're consuming. More is not necessarily better. Salmon wraps. Okay, canned wild salmon is an excellent and inexpensive source of inflammation reducing omega-3s. You might be surprised to learn that it's also a really good source of calcium if you eat the soft chewable bones. Premium canned salmon excludes the bones and is typically leaner and therefore lower in those healthy fats too. So go for the regular and cheaper variety. Combine that with a little bit of clean mayo and wrap in a lettuce leaf or a sheet of dried seaweed for a really yummy snack or light lunch. Finally, nut butter with carrot sticks. Nut butter is a household staple for quick snacks and breakfasts that require no cooking. This is a precious necessity for those of us abstaining from gluten, dairy, or eggs. Peanut butter works, but keep in mind that peanuts are considered goitrogenic. They're also a legume, so they're not paleo compliant. If that doesn't work for your current dietary needs, choose almond butter, sunflower butter, or macadamia butter. Next, bone broth. It might take over 24 hours of low and slow cook time, but once it's done, bone broth really couldn't make a more convenient snack. So whether you prepare your own or purchase store-bought, Bone broth is a really delicious cup of gut healing comfort. Just heat it up, pour it into a travel mug, and you're good to go. You can add a pinch of freshly snipped herbs like rosemary if you'd like to jazz it up, or just sprinkle it with a little sea salt and enjoy. Moving on to the next category, make-ahead snacks. I know most of you are looking for quick and easy, so just a couple of ideas in this category. First, hard-boiled eggs. Now for those of us who tolerate eggs, this can be a really handy option to keep in the fridge. Place half a dozen or so eggs in boiling water, set a timer for 10 minutes, and then run them under cold water when the timer goes off. Drain and refrigerate them for up to a week. You can dial up the deliciousness a notch by just smearing with a little bit of clean mayo and a sprinkle of salt and pepper. It's very simple, very convenient, and very good. All right, next in this category, chocolate chip cookie dough bliss balls. I have a super easy recipe on the blog that's gonna satiate your sweet tooth while also providing some energy supportive nutrients that won't crash your blood sugar levels. You can keep a batch of these in the freezer for grab and go convenience. And I'll link to that recipe in the show notes below. Last but not least, package snacks. I know there's a lot of demand and curiosity for this category. First, sweet potato awesome. These awesome freeze-dried sweet potato slices are, are organic, they're AIP compliant, and they're really delicious. I always try to keep some on hand for dipping, snacking, entertaining. My favorite is the garlic and dill flavor, and I do have a code for 10% off your order. Uh, that code is awesomesauce at sweetpotatoawesome.com. 
Next, olives. Olives are one of the most ancient whole food snacks. Not only are they really delicious and packed with healthy fats, but they're also loaded with antioxidants. Just be sure to look for olives where the ingredient list is just olives, water, and salt. Some of them are treated for color. Also, if you're on the autoimmune protocol, skip the pimento stuffed olives because pimentos are a nightshade. Next, epic bison baking cranberry bars. A lot of bars are full of junk ingredients, but not these ones by epic. With seven grams of protein per serving, these grass-fed bison bars are great to stash in your purse for a quick dose of protein. To mix it up, try their wild-caught salmon strips. So good. All right, next, flackers. These flaxseed crackers made the list because they are organic, paleo, nutrient-dense, and gluten-free. In fact, the only ingredients in the sea salt variety are flax seeds, apple cider vinegar, and sea salt. You can top them with hummus, that one minute guacamole, olive tapenade, smoked salmon, cucumber slices, whatever you like. RX bars. Whenever I'm on the slopes or the trail, this is what I toss into my pack. There's no guessing when it comes to the ingredients in these bars, which they list in big, bold letters on the front of the wrappers. For example, three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and no BS. My two absolute favorite flavors are the peanut butter chocolate chip and the chocolate sea salt. Bar Nana Organic Plantain Chips. Whenever I see these at Costco, I grab a bag of these plantain chips. I like this brand because it contains just three ingredients, organic plantains, organic coconut oil, and Himalayan pink salt. They really are like a perfect vehicle for a quick batch of that one minute guacamole. Next, Siete Tortilla Chips. Sometimes a plantain chip just isn't the same as a tortilla chip. It's great to have options like Siete's tortilla chips, which are made with cassava and coconut flour. My kiddo even prefers these to corn chips. They're Whole30 approved, gluten-free, paleo, vegan, and non-GMO. All right, last but not least, and this is kind of a splurge, but paleo treats. When you're looking for something sweet and chocolatey, paleo treats are just the ticket. They have a collection of amazing clean treats you can order by the dozen. My favorite is the Bandito, which is like a peanut butter cup made with almonds. So you can give Paleo Treats a try for 10% off when you use the coupon code Thyroid Refresh. I'll put all these links in the show notes if you're interested in any of these. So there you have it, 21 thyroid-friendly snack ideas to keep you satiated and on track no matter how busy your week is. I hope it comes in handy next time you need a snack in your pack or feel a case of the hangries coming on. Whatever the case, when you need something quick, I hope this helps. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Thyroid Healthy Bites. If you'd like a link to the full blog post with uh, you know, all the discount codes I talked about, all the brands, all the items, all the little off-the-cuff recipes, you can find that at hypothyroidchef.com. And I'll also put the link for that in the show notes. Thanks again for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave a review. I appreciate your support and your time so much. And I hope this has helped inspire you to live well and eat well so you can feel well. I'm Ginny Mahar wishing you the best of health. See you next time.